Hey guys, I am back. I've got something brand new from Kubi, direct from them. I love Kubi to death. Um, I have been a Kubi fan. I'm gonna keep saying this. I liked Kubi before Kubi was cool, before it was a really popular brand. Um, I remember just, I saw one on, I'm gonna keep telling the story, I saw it on Amazon years and years ago and I said, I gotta check that knife out. And I, I did and I loved them and I've been a fan of them ever since. And Kubi was one of the first brands to really change the idea that knives made in China are crap. Um, Kubi, white box, means kind of their higher end stuff. And this is the, let me show you. Okay, cool. Uh, this is also called the Silo, it's spelled a little weird, but, um, you know. So uh, Kubi had, they contacted me, showed me a picture and said, would you like to, would you like to do this on your channel? And I saw it and I said, hell yeah. Um, this comes in four different color options. I'm not sure which one they sent me. And of course there is a, a link to, you know, Kubi's site in the video description since they did send me the knife and all. Um, oh, I was expecting it to come in like a zippered pouch, but all right. So we've got a cloth and it's a decent cloth. I felt better, but it's, it's a nice cloth. Let's see. Let's open that up. Put that right here. There we go. Um, sealed up. So it's titanium and 14C28N, if I'm not mistaken. Am I right? Yep, 14C28N. Um, so, very good Sandvik steel. Ooh, that feels nice. Uh, this is the dark wash, dark stone wash version with a frag pattern. I don't know. I don't know if the frag, if the name frag pattern is like trademarked, but that is nice. Take a look at that. Oh, and it's got a little plastic thing under the clip to prevent it from like marring it up until you're ready to mar it up yourself. Uh, that just feels good. That's really nice. And fit and finish on it looks fantastic. Kubi always does really well. Fully jimping, jimping eyes backspacer there. I like that they're, you know, the, the branded pivots is really becoming a thing now. Um, I, I don't think I've seen that on a Kubi yet. Oh my God. Oh, praise the knife gods. Look at that. Jimping all the way down the spine of the knife. Oh, I love it. I love it. Um... I'm not sure what the weight on this is. I mean, I'll put it in text, of course, but I, I don't know off the top of my head right now, but it's got a little bit of weight in the way that I really like it. Um, now, so it looks like we've got a, a few different ways to open it, I'm assuming. Um, so can we, yep, you can, ooh, look at that. So cleaver style blade, which is not my favorite, but I like this one. Handle is, handle's pretty comfortable. Um, big hand friendly. I love the gym. Oh, I love the jimping all the way down. Oh my gosh. It's great. No matter where you want to rest your thumb. It just, oh, this is what I'm talking about. Jimping as far as the eye can see. Oh, beautiful. Take a look at the stone, uh, the stone wash on that blade too. And all right. So we've got the, uh, the little spidey middle finger flick works. Does this work? Uh, yeah, there we go. And let's see if like our standard front flipper opening works. No, nope, it's a little hard to get leverage on that. So, some opening front flipper style works and the middle finger flip works. Yeah, I need to maybe put a little KPL in there to make the thumb opening work a little bit better because that's kind of how I would probably want to open this thing, but I don't know. Middle finger flick works just fine. Bevels on here. There we go. Uh, the bevels are just perfectly even. Um, I think I got cutting money right here. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Really nice. Look, I love the dark stone wash, and I just love the uh, the finish on the handle. Is it skeletonized or anything? Or, yeah, so I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell. It is milled out for lightning uh, inside the the uh, titanium. 
this is definitely a, a carry. This is this is one that you know I'm gonna want to have in my pocket. I'm gonna look for excuses to use it. The one thing, like, so I got to you know, like a lot of these um, kind of Warncliffe blades. I I like a, I mean it's I say cleaver style. It's really Warncliffe ish, but you have trouble if you're like on a flat surface. Your knuckles are gonna get in the way of getting that full blade on there. Unless you're like cutting on a table where it's a raised surface, then it's fine. Um, but if you're um, like, I mean a table where like you can get on the edge of it. But like if you've got a work area and your whole hand is on the work area, you kind of, it kind of limits the amount of blade that you can put down on the whole thing. And that's, that's why I like like a good modified sheep's foot blade. Um, with a little curve on the belly because then you can then you can really get a lot more surface area on it But that's just me. That's a me thing. This is This is really really I mean, I really like this guy um, I think it comes in like a like uh, you can get like a an anodized blue a black coated one um, I Don't know. I, I'll probably have uh, I'll probably already have put like pictures of all the different options first um, it's not cheap. I think it runs somewhere in the neighborhood of 150 or, or something like that. But it ju it feels really good. And it, when it's open, it's a little bit front heavy because you've got, you know, steel and then titanium. And obviously the steel is heavier than the titanium. But um, I like it. I like it a lot. I love the handle. And it just looks looks cool. So what do you guys think? Something you would carry, something you would spend the money on. Do you like it? Um, oh, I love the the way the little uh, I forgot the actual name of it off the top of my head, but uh, where they you know the, the area so that the lock can bend. That's really cool. Uh, oh, we didn't check out the clip. The clip is yeah, it's got a little bit of spring. I mean, it's it's a little tight, a little tight, but it gives it gives enough. Um, this isn't necessarily pocket shredding because it's got a nice flat finish, but that's a, it's a tight clip, but I think, you know, it'll wear in a little bit. I'm sure the clip is titanium to go along with everything else. Um, so, all right. So back to my question, what do you guys think? Something you would carry, something you would enjoy? What do you think? Um, I like it. I'm going to carry it. I'm going to, I'm going to give it a chance. Um, it's definitely going to get pocket time. It just looks so cool and we'll see you know, what I come up with for it to, uh, to do, but Gorge, I just love the, I love the finish on the whole thing. So, um, once again, I'll put a link to, uh, to Kubi's site in the video description so you can check it out. Um, and all their, I, I mean, I love Kubi's stuff. It really high quality stuff. It really is. Um, I have so many in my collection. Um, for every one that they've sent me to, to review, I've probably bought three, four or five on my own because um, they just do make really good stuff. They really do. So anyway, thanks, Scooby, for sending this over for us to check out. You guys will see this again multiple times because it just feels really, really good. Thanks to you guys for spending a little bit more time with me. I hope you were a little bit entertained. Uh, we had some fun. Remember that you are all absolutely awesome, and I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.